Devine. I'm a Burundian living in Malawi. It's like a refugee camp. My name is Mutombo Ezras. I'm a Congolese refugee. I live in Zaleka refugee camp and I'm 19 years old. My name is Divine Mugisha and I'm 16 years old. I'm Rwandese by nationality. I'm a refugee living in Zaleka camp in Malawi. Actually, Refugee Day means a lot to me as a refugee. Uh, first of all, it's, uh, it gives hope to me as a refugee, whereby uh, we see people, a lot of people worldwide celebrating this day. Also at the same time, it's, uh, it reminds me the day that uh, I admitted that I'm a refugee and uh, accept all the challenges and the problems of refugee and uh, commit to work hard uh, to bring positive change, not only to refugees, but to the host communities and worldwide in general. This Refugee Day, uh, the way it means to me, it's just like it is a, a day of hope whereby all refugees worldwide come, they celebrate, they give each other hope to saying that we are not alone, we have uh, other people giving us hand, giving us help. Refugee Day is very important for the refugees whereby the uh, refugees, they come together, show each other's ca uh, culture, actually cultural dances uh, like youth and um, women and male men from Azarika camp, they tend to show uh, their talents, what they are capable of. And also we, t uh, we tend to address our problems directly to the people in authority or to the people who can work on them directly. Well, I feel normal to be called a refugee, but then at the same time, uh, I feel bad, I feel offended, because uh, can, you can all agree with me that worldwide, there are a lot of people who do not like refugees, they discriminate to them. So with this, I feel so bad, I feel offended. And uh, sometimes there are a lot of opportunities which are being limited to refugees. So being called a refugee and being limited to all these opportunities, it really sounds bad, it makes me feel bad. Uh, actually, frankly speaking, I don't feel good when I'm called a refugee because it limits my potential. In my mind, I'll be having the thought that just because I'm a refugee, I'll be limited. I can't discover my full potential. It's a bad thing to be called a refugee and sometimes it makes us like um, to look lo low on ourselves and have low self-esteem. But um, sometimes we just have to accept the reality that we are refugees and cope with the problems and the disliking of being called a refugee. Based on the theme of this year, every action counts. And my first message would directly go to fellow refugees worldwide, like uh, to encourage them. There are a lot of refugees who feel bad. They feel like they cannot do something simply because they are refugees. But then this way, it's, uh, it's more like encouraging them. So it's either they take an action to move out themselves in the situation where they are. They can do something regardless of who they are. They can do something better and achieve something. So each and every uh, action they're taking today, it counts. It's the same thing that will help them tomorrow. Uh, the other message will go to the people who are mostly the countries who are hosting the refugees worldwide. We have people discriminating refugees, so every action they take towards these people, it's count. So the way they treat them, the way they handle them, it still count. It's more like also asking them to, to be part of them, encourage them, help them. They should also feel loved in the community, that they're not alone, uh, they're taking good actions toward them. If you see a refugee, he's a normal human being like you. Love us, encourage us, support us, because this is all what we want from you guys. Thank you. Uh, my last message to the world is that uh, whatever you are doing now, don't take it for granted. If maybe you are a donor helping these young refugees, refugees living in the camp, the action you are doing now will count. Everybody is appreciating it. Whatever you do, make sure that the actions make them count. Uh, my message is that whatever we plan to do, it counts. It has an effect either on our lives or some other people's life. When you do something bad, it might not have a, an effect on you, but it may have an effect on others. And also another thing is that we should not just live our life 
having problems and keep them to ourselves. We have to take action on them. We have to address our problems. If we have like problems of hunger, we have to take an action first, like to search for food, uh, for example, through agriculture. We don't have just to wait for the donors to provide us with food, but we first of all take an action on that.